a combination of my tertiary education in exercise science and psychology, my 10 years experience as a primary school teacher, my passion for meditation, tapping and Reiki, I have come to understand that as humans, no matter our age, we exist in one of three states of being at any given moment in time. So these include floundering, floating and flourishing, the three Fs. And let me break these down for you. So firstly, when we are floundering, our body's stress response is activated. Now this means that we are struggling mentally. We're on high alert and we're likely to be feeling anxious. We're likely to be catastrophizing problems. We're not likely to be thinking very clearly. We're not likely to be very creative and we're not likely to do any effective learning or remembering things. We're not likely to be making any good decisions in this state and we're not likely to be being a good friend or we're not likely to be a nice person to be around. Our stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline run high in this state and we're not functioning well. You can picture this as being a flounder fish struggling clumsily in muddy waters. So in turn, being in this mental state, this weak mental state, takes its toll on our physical health as well. We're more likely to get sick, to stay sick and age more quickly. The second state of being is when we are flourishing, when we're living our best life, when we might be achieving our goals and enjoying strong and healthy relationships, when we're thriving, finding meaning and success in our own way. Our happy hormones like dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin and endorphins run high in this state and we love life. You can picture it as the most breathtaking flower garden you've ever seen in full bloom. We are healthy in this state, we're resilient and youthful. In fact, it's even believed that the ageing process can be reversed when we're flourishing. Sounds pretty good, right? So the third state of being, this is floating, and this is our body's peace response. This means that we feel safe, we feel calm and relaxed. In this state, we are resting and healing deeply in our minds and our bodies. And things that can stimulate this floating state of being include meditating, EFT tapping, Reiki and mindful breathing. You can picture this state as a white fluffy cloud floating peacefully in the sky. And what's so interesting about this floating state is that the more time we spend in it through doing things like meditation and tapping and Reiki, the more likely we are to spontaneously start flourishing in our lives. Now a common theme that you'll find amongst all of the wellbeing tools that daily practice offers is that they are all designed to actually take you, your mind and your body into that state of floating, into that cloud that will be your vehicle to help you flourish. So keep up your floating and reach out if you have any questions. Bye for now.